Well, let's hear from the other side as we have on the telephone the man on the other side of the divide in talking about the contest for the ticket of the PDP. Mr. Jima Ibrahim, the candidate of the PDP, joins us via telephone. Many thanks for coming on the program. One will ask a big question. What does the uh, judgment of today, what are these old for you? Because it looks so much that maybe after the Supreme Court, the tide might change against your stance right now. Uh, thank you very much, Sheo. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the victory of today is for the people of all those states, not me as a person. The argument we are making is very straightforward. That number one, once appeal has been entered, in any case, you have to uh, allow the Supreme Court to take decision, and that is the authority for that is allow me and Mohammed. Supreme Court has said that once you enter appeal in a case, you just have to wait for the outcome of the appeal. I'm surprised that the panel in Abuja Court of Appeal went that far of hearing the appeal after we have entered appeal. And our point is that uh, the gentleman is an individual, he's not a political party. There is no way he can bring an application to be joined in the matter you know, that related to political parties. So to me, we believe that we should test the law whether electoral acts allow for independent candidacy. And if it doesn't, then you could not have a right, you know, to bring a case uh, to join the matter because you are individual. You should have brought that matter, you know, the, on behalf of your political party. Your, your political party, PDP, should bring the matter on your behalf. A uh, lot of people uh, that have, some so, people that have spoken with Mr. Ibrahim uh, uh, about this matter, especially some of your party members, believe that you're just out to scuttle the chance of the party that you are not a candidate that could win an election in Ondo State. You see our rally show. Don't rely on all those propagandas and noise makers. You see our rally. That is the biggest ever in the history of the system. So if you see the rally that we call the law, uh, rest is salukulos, the fact speaks for itself. So you see that our rally, that is just one. On Monday we have two other rally coming from Central District. Do you think animals attend the rally or even? So if you see that rally, you see that the Mimiko State Governor's rally is less than 10%. They couldn't even make big the 10% of the population there. Although people want to change, they don't want. What we are saying is that governor cannot bring somebody from central central district when he has spent eight years as a governor. He cannot replace successor from the same central district to bring 16 years. That would be unfair to the north mm. and the central, and that is where the candidacy of Mr. Jigeda become more popular. Right. And that Ms. is why Ms. the states. Ms. Ibrahim, no Ms. So. Ms. Ibrahim, before I allow you go, are you certain or are you sure? What gives you the assurance that you can? win this election? Just wait till next week Saturday and by Sunday wait for the declaration of ANEC announcement. You will realize that the Clarence as governor-elect because the oh, those state is PDP state. PDP has been government for 14 years. Nobody can change it for a second. Mm. That is the PDP state. It's uh, in the blood of everybody. It's in the vein Mr. Jim of Ibrahim. the people. Many thanks for talking to us, uh, the candidate of uh, the PDP. That uh, controversial contest in court right now has uh, gone to the Supreme Court. Thank you so much, Mr. Ibrahim, for talking to us on the program.